Hi everyone, this is going to be a nail polish swatch video for OPI's 50 Shades of Grey collection, which is currently available for purchase at Ulta stores. Each of these nail polishes retails for $9.50 each. And as always, if you'd like to see photos of the colors and of the swatches applied to the nails, please go to the link in the description box below where I will link to AllureBeauty.com and the specific post for this collection. Now, I've never read Fifty Shades of Grey and I don't plan on reading it, I don't plan on seeing the movie, so I won't be able to sort of, uh, I guess, comment on how reflective of the book these shades are going to be, but I will certainly share with you my thoughts on any formulation issues or on the colors and how they translate onto the nails. Make sure you check out my most recent video. It was for Sephora's Colorful Reflex Duos, which are fantastic shimmering glittery eyeshadows that are limited edition and available at Sephora. So if you're at all interested in shimmering eyeshadow shades, then make sure to go check out that video. All right, I hope you're subscribed. Let's get on to looking at these nail polishes. So here we have the shade Cement the Deal, Dark Side of the Mood, Romantically Involved, Embrace the Gray, Shine for Me, and My Silk Tie. All right, so first up is Cement the Deal. This is a cool gray. You do see some streakiness and it's not quite opaque with one layer, so I'm going to apply a second. And there's what it looks like with two coats applied. Next up is Embrace the Gray, which is a deeper gray shade. With one coat, you can still see the nail underneath, so I'm going to apply two coats. And here's what that looks like once two coats are applied. Next is Dark Side of the Mood, which is a stormy charcoal. So it's a deep gray, but it has a blue undertone to it. Okay, so we can clearly tell we definitely need more than one coat. So here goes coat number two. And there's what that looks like once two coats are applied. And on top of Dark Side of the Mood, I'm applying this shade, which is Shine for Me. And that's what it looks like with just one coat. It's pretty opaque. I thought it would be more of a glittering overlay, but I'm going to swatch it next just on its own because it looks like it's pretty dense in color. Okay, so here is Shine For Me on its own. And I was totally wrong. It is pretty translucent. It's a silver with subtle blue glitter in it. Okay, so right now here is one coat and then one coat applied over a darker base. I'll apply two coats on these two nails here to show you. Okay, and that's what it looks like once two coats are applied to these nails. Next up is Romantically Involved, which is a pretty classic red color. It's not quite opaque with one layer, so I'll apply a second. Okay, there is the color with two coats applied. Last we have My Silk Tie, which is this gleaming silver. It's kind of streaky with just one coat, so I'm going to apply a second. Okay, and there it is with two coats. You can see here from even two coats, you kind of have to be pretty steady and even in the way that you apply it so that it doesn't look streaky or patchy. All right, so there is OPI's 50 Shades of Grey collection. Definitely a collection that I think is more about the hype of the movie and the book as opposed to concentrating on being a color collection. 
And that's fine, there are plenty of collections out there like this that are more focused on a fan base for a particular celebrity or movie or something like that. So if you're a fan of the franchise, let me know what you think about this collection, or even if you're not, if there is a particular shade that sort of draws you in or that you're a fan of. I actually really liked the two first gray colors. I think that they are nice, cool toned grays that are wearable. But anyway, leave me a comment section below letting me know what you think. I hope that this was helpful to you if you were interested in purchasing any of these shades. And if it was helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. You get a nice, richer purple here when you put it over a black base. Okay, so up close, these are what the shades will look like and what kind of finish you'll get if you put it over a black or dark base.